What would you do if you won a lottery right now for over a million dollars? What is the first thing that comes to your mind that you will do with that money? Well, even for me, a religious, I will try to satisfy my stomach, my belly, my own interest, make many trips, and then I could think later about my family, my friends, or acquaintances. Vitamin BS, the vitamin of blessing to nourish your faith. We are not far from the disciples of Christ, Jesus, who calculate if they can really buy the bread for a crowd of more than 5,000 people. In our lives, we often calculate, we spend the time counting, counting our own interests, calculating if the gift I donate to someone will come back to me. We even count if there will be more loss than gain. It is calculation that keeps us away from generosity. When we give, we do like Jesus or God. We give without calculating, without counting. We discover that other people may be in the same need as us in our times of difficulty or lack. How can we feed this crowd, said Jesus? The popular saying goes, who gives to the poor gives to God. I will say, God is the rich one who enriches others, us with his poverty. It is God who gives you the strength of your arms, health, and intelligence to produce wealth. The more we give, the more we unconsciously perform the miracle of the multiplication of the bread of wealth. It is indeed when you lack everything that you must give more more of your time, of your energy, of your availability to make others happy. Don't just wait for the time of abundance to be generous like everyone else. And that is why the African sage laughs in the great dry season, even the bird gives gifts to its mother-in-law. Have a great Sunday and a fruitful meditation.